some dudes. I'm gonna record this game because goodness knows what could happen. It's a Terran versus Zerg. We are playing on the Korean server on the map Frost. If you're wondering, Nathanius, why are you playing on Frost if this is Korean ladder? Because they put Frost back in the ladder map pool. That's right. Most of the bad maps have been taken out. So get on here and play some games with us. Anyway, I'm gonna go command center first because I'm a greedy boy. You guys know Nathanius recently got super bored of the StarCraft meta. I am tired of going Marine Marauder medevac literally every single game in every single matchup. So we've been massing a lot of Cyclones. I'm gonna try to do my mech strategy. If you think Nathanius mecha sounds boring, then you have not seen me do it. Now, with that being said, uh, it's just a standard, what, 16 command center, 18 or 19 barracks, 20 gas. Now, this is super greedy. If my opponent goes pool first, I instantly lose the game. But you know what? If they don't, then the game goes really, really well into the mid game and we have a great game. So it's all good. Sometimes I don't feel like doing anything at the start of the game and that's totally fine. It's important to enjoy doing different things in StarCraft rather than just trying to win. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's greedy, but I mean, it's not like this guy's gonna go home to his wife and be like, honey, <gasps> Terran player will come on center first. That's pretty racist. Well, if it's what someone might sound like, is it? I don't know. Anyway, no one's going to go home to their wife and be like, this Terran went command center first and he didn't SCV scout. Why? He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. That's not what's going to happen. And if it does, and I emotionally ruin this man, if I destroy him, then I guess I'm sorry. At that, at that point... If that guy loses his job because he loses all confidence in himself and his wife leaves him and he gets fired from his job and I don't know. He can't get it up anymore when he tries to meet a new woman. Like, if that happens, I will accept responsibility for my actions. But until then, I think we're good. I think everything is, everything is okay. We can go command center first as much as we want. It's funny because I had a game. I had a couple games on North American server where I did this build. And it was actually on stream. Some of you might have seen it. But my opponent was like, you're so greedy. How can you do this? It's like, you just do this every game? I'm like, yeah, it's pretty fun, don't you think? And the person's like, it's just so greedy. I can't believe someone would play a game like this. And I'm just like, well, I'm just playing StarCraft, man. Like, is it is it is it a crime to play, like, a greedy build order? Like, did they recently make, did they, you know, did, did Blizzard Entertainment, did Michael Morheim put out, like, a headhunting call for people that played greedily? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think Michael Morheim recently came out and said, you're not allowed to play different styles other than the standard one. In fact, I would put money on... Oh, he's breaking these rocks. I would put money on Mike Morheim being the kind of guy to think that different strategies is a really cool, fun thing, even if they lose, because that's just how nice of a guy he is. So, with that being said... We are playing a little too basey here because I didn't see a third from our Zerg opponent. So if our opponent's not taking a third, why should we risk just dying a horrible, painful death akin to that of being brutally slaughtered at her own wedding by the Lannisters when we can just chill? We can just chill. We can relax. Don't do it when you want to go to it. Relax. Don't do it when you want to go. I mean, why is he breaking my rocks is, in the first place is like a good question to be asking, in my opinion. Like, why? You know what I mean? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Why did he break my rocks, Ojo? Oh, that that was a reasonable way to do that, right? I think so. I haven't caught Ned Joad in a long time, but, you know. It's that song that they played at every high school dance. Somehow, everyone in your school knew how to do it, except for you. And then one day you did it and you were like, guys, can we all do Cotton Eye Joe? They're like, no. By the time you figured out the dance, we all figured out it was stupid. Oh, free drones? Don't mind if I do. Anyone want some barbecue? Hmm? <laughs> can bring my junk rat plays all the way to, uh, to StarCraft. That's right, guys. Number one junk rat in North America is lighting up StarCraft. You know, I never did anything with this Starport. You know the philosophy. If you don't use it, your opponent will sure, certainly abuse it. As you guys can see, my actions are a little bit delayed from when I input them. 
It's just a natural side effect of playing on a Asia server, which is the Korean server on Battle.net, because I have uh, a lot of... Uh... Well, it's about 6,000 miles away from me, I think is the easy way to put it. So any of you guys that know under know anything about internet and distance and ping times, yeah. I'm about 6,000 miles from this server. So we got some lag. And that's okay. Look at my Hellion Micro. How are you not subscribed to me on my Twitch channel with Hellion Micro this good? Shameless plug. Hashtag pay my bills. All right, let's go. Well, I'm already having a pretty good game, I'd say. I don't really know what my opponent's doing. Honestly, I don't know what he's smoking either. He's only built Zergling so far. What's going on in here? He just started his lair? I've actually been winning a lot of my games on the Korean server. My MMR should be higher than playing against people that are literally doing nothing for the first 10 minutes of the game. Either that or I'm just, I'm just that good, I guess. But I know I'm not allowed to compliment myself. Otherwise, I'd become a shitlord, so we gotta be careful, guys. We gotta be careful. I think my ego's getting out of control. Don't you guys think so? Thanius cast StarCraft for a few years. Suddenly thinks he can be happy with himself when he wrecks Master League Korean players. My rank in Korean server right now is Master League, by the way. Just to give a bit of perspective, I played versus a Grandmaster two days ago on the Korean server on this account. So no, it's not just, oh, you lucky man. It's like, no, no, no. I play, I play GMs. I've actually beaten GMs on this account. In previous seasons, I would have had a much higher rank. Yeah, what's with this run by, dude? Why is this guy so BM? He's killed so many SCVs. Did you guys know each SCV, according to lore, has like a PhD? Actually, I shouldn't talk about lore on YouTube. Usually the YouTube viewers are much more in tune with the lore, so they'll call me out if I'm wrong. I think I'm right on this one, but I know that if I'm wrong, you will never let me forget it. Never ever. And then at some point, my great-grandchild will discover the cure to Ebola or cancer, and then someone will say, yeah, but your dad, your dad, ho ho, he got lore wrong in a YouTube video about StarCraft. You will burn for that. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm. I, you're. You're. It's time to pay for your sins. Have you really sinned in any quantifiable manner? Probably not. But you're gonna pay either way. I'm not. I'm not doing this no more. I'm gonna kill you. Dude, this guy's ability to harass is pretty solid. But yeah. I hate to break the news to you, but you did! Ravager. Why don't you ravage me, senpai? Oh wow, walk into the freedom zone, why don't ya? The Venn diagram of death right there, mate. Ah! Dodge it, dodge it. We got this. This style is just so good, it's so fun. So fresh and clean. He built mutalisks? And you believe this gives you power over me? You and your friends are dead. GG. Whoop, whoop. I love this style so much. I'm gonna do my best to show this off as much as I can. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm so glad to have you all here.